What's up, everybody? I'm Laura Davidson with Sure, and on today's episode of How Do You Do That, we'll be talking about why it's so important to consider using an external mic like the MV7, as opposed to relying on the internal mic of your computer or laptop. Let's check it out. So if you've been dabbling in live streaming, content creation, podcasting, or conference calls over the last little while, you may have noticed some differences in audio. Some people have great looking video and subpar audio. Some people have great sounding audio and subpar video, and some people are completely on their game. If you're somewhere in between, this video is probably for you. So we're going to be looking at the differences in our MV7 podcast microphone, which is a USB XLR hybrid, our MV51 podcast microphone or large diaphragm condenser, content creation, music, we've got you covered with this. We'll also be checking out the MV5C and the MV88 Plus to give you some options. And I'm going to be going back and forth between the microphone and the internal mic on my MacBook Pro. So this is going to show you the difference and why it's so important to take it into consideration when you're starting your own podcast, content creation, conference call, etc. First thing you want to think about is what you're going to be broadcasting to the world. Do you want to be heard clearly? It's important to think about an external microphone. Reason being, we're not always in perfectly treated spaces. In fact, we're probably never in perfectly treated spaces unless we're doing this professionally. That's where something like our MV7 comes in handy because it uses voice isolation technology to get all of the background noise out and focus just on your voice. Now, if you're using something like our MV51, we'd recommend using this in a little bit more of a treated environment because it is a large diaphragm condenser. It's gonna be more prone to picking up some of the room noise because it's more sensitive. Condenser, dynamic. Dynamics need to work a little bit harder to pick up the sound and how they're designed, whereas condensers can pick up more of the nuances and details. But that's enough gabbing about that. Let's hear the differences so you can see in real time what a difference an external microphone makes. So first up, you're hearing the MV7 right now. This is our XLR USB hybrid microphone, which allows you to plug directly into your computer or into an audio interface. I talked about the voice isolation technology a second ago and why that's so beneficial is if I go off axis, you're not gonna be able to hear me as much and you're not gonna be able to hear the washing machine that's going just outside that door. Whereas if I switch it over to my internal microphone, now you're gonna be able to hear a lot more noise. The fan noise of my computer, the typing, the moving around and touching everything on my desktop. That's what your listeners are going to hear. That's why it's so important to use an external mic. Now let's hear the MV5C. The MV5C is a small diaphragm condenser microphone that we designed specifically for conferencing applications. It's going to automatically overtake the microphone in your computer and allow you to decide if you want to monitor the playback through the onboard headphone jack, or if you want to disable that and just listen through some computer speakers. It's going to block sounds coming in from the rear and sides of the microphone to make sure that you're heard crystal clear, as opposed to my MacBook Pro onboard microphone. So this gives you the opportunity with the MV5C to have crystal clear audio and have your microphone be out of the shot. Now let's check out our MV51 large diaphragm condenser. So now you're hearing the MV51 large diaphragm condenser microphone. This is great for people who want to have a microphone that can follow them through several things and applications throughout their day, night, journey, etc. If you wanna have a mic that sounds great for conference call applications, Zoom calls, recording music, doing a podcast, and just a really cool looking mic, the MV51 is a great option for you. The MV51 offers you some tactile controls right on the front of the mic, which are really handy. You can select through five different presets, for example. You can adjust your gain and your headphone level, as well as monitor directly from the back of the mic using the headphone jack. So this is the MV51. And this is my MacBook Pro microphone. So now you're hearing the difference between a large diaphragm condenser and the onboard mic, which is what you're hearing right now. Once again, the MV51, large diaphragm condenser, USB microphone, and the MacBook Pro onboard mic. Now you're listening to the Shure MV88 Plus stereo USB. This is coming from our MV88 Plus video kit but we decided to make it in a form factor that could fit on any microphone stand, 
on your desktop or point towards an instrument if you wanted to do some live streaming and capture those sounds. It comes with an extra long USB cable so that you can get into those larger applications, for example, miking a drum kit, or using it on your desktop and routing it into a dock. So the advantages of using the MV88 Plus is that you can change up the polar pattern using the Motive Shure Plus desktop app. I'll show that in just a second. Right now I have it set in monocardioid mode, but you can also switch it up in between raw midside, mono bidirectional, and stereo mode where I can actually adjust the stereo width, which if you're listening in a set of headphones, you'll hear me manipulating right now. But for all of my conference call needs, Zoom calls, etc., I keep it in monocardioid. And it gives me a much better sound as opposed to using the onboard MacBook Pro microphone that we've been toggling back and forth. So here's my MacBook Pro. Here's my MV88 Plus stereo USB mic. So that's it. That's a quick A-B demonstration between our MV7 USB XLR hybrid microphone, our MV5C conferencing microphone, our MV51 large diaphragm condenser USB microphone, and our MV88 Plus stereo USB. We have lots of different options out there for you, and they can be confusing. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you get notified anytime a new How Do You Do That video goes live. And be sure to check us out at Shore.com. I'm Laura Davidson. Thanks for watching.